Good morning. I think uh, uh, there are things that when they happen and we keep quiet, it becomes like an order of the day. Mazin uh, Namdekano came out and a lot of changes came in Igbo land by young men discovering their source, their roots and everything. And then he encouraged a lot of people to come out online to showcase what they really are. To showcase what they really worship, what they really believe in. And that's why in Igbo land today you would see a lot of native doctors, both young and old. And the rest of it. But still, it didn't stop the Christendom from progressing. But where I think I have a problem is where a woman needs to be in the church from Monday to Friday and then where the church needs to take advantage of the vulnerable to milk them dry especially young children who are just out of secondary school and they are able to be born again the church quickly used these guys for, for each other souls winning souls and the rest of it for winning souls and the rest of it and then whilst these winning souls are going on i don't know how they manage to know the children of big men believe me i don't know how some pastors manage to know the children of big men and before you know it the child is taking things from their parents and sowing into the church and giving it to the pastors and giving it to the assistant pastors and the pastors are not even asking questions do does your parents know that you are bringing this to the church this vehicle that you're sowing as a seed i'm sure that you're not able to buy a vehicle for yourself does your father know that you are bringing this car to the church does your mother know that you are sowing this as a seed to the church all these things needs to be put into caution it's very important people need to put this into consideration making parents pastors fathers and mothers check their children out to know when they are gradually derailing gradually derailing and know what head they are being washed that is making a child go to a church to sow a seed that he cannot afford my nephew sowed a seed with his father's vehicle a helix and the father went back to the church to collect the Hilux from the church because his child just took somebody's car and went to the church to sow it. And the pastors It it has to stop. It really, really has to stop. I know a friend who constantly used both her house rent and her school fees and gave it to the church in the name of seed sowing, in the name of uh, 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 keying in. I don't know why the church will not even apply caution and solicit with young people who just turned born again from doing the needful instead of being too churchious for their liking. Instead, they would encourage the children to constantly bring things that are outside their jurisdiction to the church. And then, then the church, and they may praise the Lord, and they will hallelujah. Name property, married man, it's a wrong thing to do, to say the least. Believe me, it's a very, very wrong thing to do. Then, Makumu Wai. A lot of pastors will not even admonish the women in their churches to please have time for their homes, have time for their husbands, have time for their children, have time for their work and the rest of their life. They will not advise them to do so. Tuesday. 
eje ye mid week service but she when thursday a je kwoko ozo but she friday je nke ndi kwaya but she saturday je nke ndi women for goodness sakes yet mpuna haru ana na awo na nkrin kagwa bu nu nwe grade 1 i have a problem with that Mpuna haruru anani ine deno wak. Unu wetere buye na mbo. Gina hame koi he maru na tu bogo. It's a very terrible place to even find yourself. It's a very terrible place. And then they will say it's your faith that is leading you. You you monopolize people's mind and carry a bib and give them. And they wear the bib, believing the bib is their protection, that nothing can harm them because their faith is leading them. You will not tell them to be careful of this, to be careful of that. You will do Bible quotation, Ewa yogwa, e fear no evil. Onya he zuzuru zie gina akbagare. Mbwe hulie uyi bibu, uyi omari chefe. Uri bibu yi ne nye sege na ochugu ne duye noe please let's stop being dogmatized you you all have to stop People are losing their wives because their wives will not take care of the husbands they will leave the home no cook you do not know, go cook you know go feed your husband you know go feed your children and then you go to the church to daddy daddy to pastor daddy to your father to your reverend to your my bishop my honor to your my lord sipu chicken na toki uko Ona atapia ne ugupia, ama ne ugupia geninu ya ne jena dume. I have also a problem with that. I have a problem with that. Pastors are now for clickants. A lot of them, a lot of these guys are now mesmerizing with people's women. Eba na achuga jomwe biege hakanare biege nukwe biege na ebe ni inanare biebi. A pastor. In the house of God, Ibial for counseling that you came to just tell him a bit of your problem. Some will encourage the women to leave the home. And then Abian Ihu say, hey, leaving the home is an abomination. Obian behind, you are the one encouraging her to leave her home. And then why? Why the pretense though? Why the pretense? For goodness sakes, please, this is not funny. This is not funny at all. We men should wake up in the morning. Body her, my lord. Love him, kiss him, caress him, make sure he's all right. Cook for him, serve him breakfast in bed if you can. If you can't, make sure his meals are ready. Malu ndungene buje di hani in their various places of work. Understand that the man needs to eat between 12, 1 and 2. And not when you go to the church and relax. Then your husband is hungry. There, by the time he eats junk this, junk that, then he has to stop. I beg God in the name of God. I don't know how to say this further, but I think enough is enough, if you will understand me. Women who leave their homes to go to the church to go and relax, Calling the pastor, daddy, and mommy. Who carrying the monies that they do not even have to go so silly in the churches. This has to stop. If you go to the church, you will go to the church. You will go to the church. You will go to the pastor. Pastor, you will go to the church. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Now, side chicks are taking the real lead. Caressing men and having fun with them. And then the wife is busy, gallivanting, going to the churches from one church to another. Now you did do yourself. You will just be very stupid and very stupid again. Other girls will be sidelining your husband. Bedroom that God gave you. Sorrow, Kaga, Hapoya.
if we see the engineer at on the mano, we see me like a casting and binding section. The yeah me to like you say you're fasting, you're praying, you're seeing God. One week dry, two weeks dry. Oh yeah, na chogo. Who is chasing you? Oh mo na di na chogo. Yes, inero hefe, inero hefe. You see less of them, they see less of you. You weren't do merry here. You don't go close to them. They won't even know how you're doing. You weren't do merry here. Ndu ne boss. Na chogo. Ndu oro. Na chogo. Aiga aba poche ufumbe. We can all go away. For goodness sake. Some women in eh eh in kechinye. Ana defum. Do you know, Ijele, that some women invite men of God in their husband's home in the name of prayer without their husband's consent? You can't be that. You can't imagine. How dare you do that? You just go but you just go and bring kabashen and bring it to the house. Excuse me. Do women not know that some husbands guard them, themselves in whatever style that they choose to? Do you not know? Do you think that everybody do not even know? A couple of people do not know their sources. And the earlier you identify where you're coming from, you may not even know where you're going to. Because ufado kaha polonuzo menana haje kaboka. Ufado kaha polonuzo ka haje mebo menana. Be that as it may, choose what you can. Choose what you want. But let people rest. Let people's wives rest. Advise people's wives to please stay put in their homes at a given time in their lives when it is necessary. Especially in the morning hours when they need their man to be around. No! No! Let me tell you, do you know God also needs some rest? You beg him for something, you are not even going to cool down for him to even do that thing that you've begged him for. You see, Yeah, we're not saying do not pray. We're not saying do not cast or do not bind. But seldom visit the church and make it a place of constant relaxation. Instead of making your home the place where everything should be happening, where your husband needs to be cool with you at interval. And then the wife is like, I beg. I have a problem with pastors extorting from children. Children who are not capable of fending for themselves. Bringing items to the church without a pastor properly asking vital questions. Does your mom, does your dad know that you're bringing these things to the church? Biko, it has to stop. When a child that you know is a minor, or even just between 0 and 25 years, a mother, they do not even have a, a way and brings some kind of gifts to the church, to you as a pastor. Please ask the child some questions to know if the parents of the child are aware that the child is bringing such thing to the church. Orimpa, please. Please, see no da kuda kuna weekend da noma. Ta abu monde. Weekend da wili e porumpa. Nya kan jise ka me video on a very weekday. This weekend, channel it to the man. Cook chicken. Cook turkey. Ye nya o fuma. Ne nya o se. Fondo na like o se. Mo de bi ena ako kuka. Ene e subi eno se. Na mano no otaze. Give it to the man. Let him eat. Si an na da alo na ihe nini ne menona. Rub his back. Tell him thank you for all you've been. It's very important. It's very important. And behold, the men of God are not even forcing anyone to bring anything to them. The men of God are not forcing anyone to bring anything to them. It is the busybodies who feel that when they sleep with a man of God, that the Holy Spirit that is in the man of God would be transferred to them. 
Ewu Gambia. Ewu Lokoja. I don't know how you ever thought of that. That when you fuck a man of God, that then his spirit will be transferred to you. Ah. Eri chawogye. Unyiriri eri kebo. For goodness sake. Don't be myopic. Oh, need the myopic. Je wetu go banya kanche ma. Kena afuz of ma. No power is transferred from any man to any man. If you have a call, you have a call. If you don't, you don't. Shedi mama e wete hiye. If you're called, you're called. If you're chosen, you're chosen. So let's pastors stop deceiving young, naive children, making them realize that the Holy Spirit is going to be transferred when they sleep with these young people. And they end up sleeping with these young people. The young people are named Megeri. And then sometimes, the pastors, the parents of these children do not even know what is happening. Some are raped by pastors, home cell pastors, catechism pastors, prophets. Oh gosh. Please, on your girl child. Very important. Make sure that this girl child seldom steps foot in a male se setting where they, they keep repeating a visit that you know nothing about. We're not saying tie the girl child in the house at a given age, but we are saying, Malunye na we iPhone na no. Know what she's listening to, know what she's hearing. It will help us all in taking care of the family unit, the children especially. Various pastors. Onto say na heart all protection. Na dibia laugh of her deep protected. And no here kewo in wero sense. Ibuteru digocho. Ne siri yanni, you're sleeping outside, ne siri digini. Because that's the customs of the Igbos. Please, help guys to help you. It's very important. Then in the, in the guys and they help. Unewe do unu ti na chain. Obro ane belige beri ne zuzu nyoko. Zukwani keke beri ruoru ni sig. Eh? You, you have a zwenyi. No, no. Mani iji oko. Na apa abuzo. Ana kaste na aba inde. Maka ihe ne mege ihare. Ije na avuda bi ide mo. Ne ego pia omu asa de mo. Ina ala ye linda ajadu. Ina ala ye li omu aze. Ina alo ye omu aze aka. Ana e belige belike amaru me yado ho. Ina ase na omu kare ma. Ine kwe gikinde kwa omu. Ija kwa omu. Imu je kwe. If you say you do not want your women extremely in the church, can you please make the home very comfortable? Because, oh, please, make the home comfortable for these women to know that is not so much of a problem. That way, they will relax and know that, yes, my husband said is not so much of a problem. They will relax and know when to do the Movement and when not to. What the impact? But every time you're a complainant, you're a complainant, and you know how the minds of women are, and their receptive memories, you know how it is. Once they feel that their husbands are disturbed, they become really even twice as disturbed. Chobazi solution. Undo kachuku nando dibye nando pastor nando prophet nando prophetess. E wazi ha fichari ke na atai diha enorokwa ne megeri. Husbands, oh, bikon, nyero no madi aka, kama de nyero una aka. Zuo ni ike, kama lu nanke ebele, pa ya aruoro ni isi unu. I hope this sinks. It should sink. Biko, humu mwa hanyine eje, ewe jero ndo kwa chuku ihe ni. Edu baby, do you go ufu wa baraisi? When your husband buys a bag of rice, Ujerundu kaufu. 
Your husband will buy yam, ike enyu uzo na abo wejeru nda pasto ufu. Your husband buys chicken, or ya half a pato koko, or ya half a roo koko, or ya half a koko koko. You will know the sizable parts, wejeru onye nkuziuka, wejeru pasto go, kama na ma jego onu if you try it again. For real. You need to stop. Because Digi no no no, he's the man of the house. Onya akwesele yeta e kokoko. Let pastors be educating women on things to do. I'm not so sure that they are educating these young ones on things to do. They just do omene inu instead of omene ana. And everybody is seemingly becoming very comfortable with it. It has to stop. It really has to stop. And with a place of a man in, in the life of everybody. The life of children, in the life of women, in the life of fathers. Let's not play with that circle. You have a rethink. You will have a separate perception about church. You have a separate thought about okay, 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 okay. Please. Opa na ndaga di na ejuka na obodo yi bo ma na ibia na Nigeria. Eh! O ka achu wu witi ejibuto eri ngwaje beje be nu nu ka jede nje ebiri. Mo wota li ha koro, mo wota hi ha koro, mo wota sa mo na goro, mo wota ho sa mo na goro. Mo go Oh gosh. Women, please build your home. Keep your home. Keep your husbands. Obro pui fu e chikito. Which you do? Ebi ai iko eri ako eri. Umu azi jenzi kete umezi dihe jiro haji mo gojiri mi kio pokuwa kan kabo ne choro he nye ni ye. If you're not going to make the home very conducive for your man, and your man leaves the home to go and chase a young chikito, and ebi ai ko fesrema akuwa chago kuri chago duri chago ono. Ikote no ne me. Ikwete no ne me, mba he mani ye do kwa digi, che kwa digi, me nya ne tu ye daddy, na siya good morning sa, kwa ototu wabona. Ike m, how are you? Good to see you. Ndewo. So that's what it is, guys. Benata no oku no oka. Benata no oku no oka. Benata no oku no oku oka. Oku oka. Umu wanyi. Agreme hani in the name of Jesus. Umu wanyi adaru, daru, 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 daru. Hey, ana majue oso aye ka ajo mwoji. Oso oso aye no ka ajo mwoji. What is falling us in a church? Let Holy Ghost come. Why is he not coming upon mande kwaya? Mandu na ago tawuno na the church. Because it's people that are catching you when you're falling. Why is that anointing not carrying in the choir, in the youth, in the Naguegu, Nakoko pastor, in the prophet and the reverend? Why is that anointing not catching those people? You think they are fortified? Eme hani in the name of Jesus. Umu nga nyadar, nka na akuri oche saida, nka na akuri oche saida, nka na adokashin tutuye, ewo, edigwa unu no. Can you not have a conversation with your pastor to tell him, Pastor? Because just move to the next. Can't you have such conversation? I can have such conversation. I do have such conversation. Move to the next. Don't bother me. Don't push me. Don't push me down. You're not going to do that. Do such conversation. It will help. It will really help. Because when we're here for now, what to her? And we're home here, what are now, what to her? When you're daru daru, what's here? When you're so katani, you're so one, 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 you're so Nda jomu mo jie siyo tu abo toro ne ne nu no lere. Nde zibo ta jomu mo jie. Kwa bevo ne ne nu no. Una na da sheshe. 
just not attract unnecessary attention. Monday I will have that at a boy can end. Abaha miri baha ja. Aja ni ine de no no ka. They will just attract all of it at the same time. Ishi hani ina aja aja. Etume etum. Aho hani ina aja aja. Dost to dost. Ihe ni ine haji ibioka ya sa. Because ona hana ada ada. Na iti in the name of Jesus. Fire. Ona fire li anaga. For goodness sake. Can we stop? Can we just stop? You know, the cameraman and our father known that anointing Daniel innocent and a default. The camera so a video and our father on that anointing. And I have a hack. My name is in the name of Jesus. He said, I have a lot of people. Boom, man. Boom, man. You're going to be a room. Oh, again, anyway. I'm going to be a bit. I'm going to be a bit. Awa kwa tea. Onu ho. Ayi ya neyoku. Inano? Business as usual. Ayi ya neyoku. Especially, eme kata me kata chiyo haano ufu dikness. Hey, o dikness regaba. O ya zi yoku eka mwade nui he. Mwade ya ya zi yoku ya riyono. Mwade ya ya zi yeme ya riyono. Oku otu go baibolo. Ome wo yine. Suwani hile. Suwani imi. Suwono ono. Well, I don't know how this goes down well with you, but it doesn't for me. Believe me. And you know what? You all out there, nje no no ka jebri. Opike da ebu mu no zeje. If re ni igwe, ejeje mi. Opike ha da, ana me bu no zeje ni igwe. Because we are not church goers. We are not bench warmers. We fear God, we obey his statutes and keep his commandments. We know whom we are. We know whom we serve. We do not go for the ceremonial church that people go for every Sunday. Any match, any nefe, maro no no ne beni ne no ro ne me ma onye kwero me ne ma unu ne jigari na me giri travel ne jia chochuku na bende made unyo anye me ru ne ber veje mari anye ru na. No demba. Kwa hini nungu nungu. Afambozi yo mejiofo. Omu kulie.